Okay, this is a 9 volt ES2 battery, which you can see here. So there is a noise of a screw inside. Of course, this is not suitable for riding, so you have to fix the screw. The screw is something that is catching the batteries inside. So we'll start to open it without doing a short disclaimer. Before doing it, it is a good uh, thing to discharge the battery from here, from these two connection, which is uh, 40 volts. So you have to discharge it. Now it is not fully discharged, but it is it's charged in a matter that if something happened, something uh, it is it is protected and uh, no major issue should happen. So what you should do? There are many screws. Don't touch them. Just open this one, and on the other side, <coughs> and then you have an iPhone tool or any phone that you can use this tool to open uh, the screen to disattach it so uh, it is a good to start from one of the sides to try to put this inside it's not easy to do it this one is totally locked or you can take a sharp screwdriver and try to insert it gently. Now, as you can see, it is open a little bit, and from here <coughs> you can use a wider screwdriver, something like this, and gently go over the side. You will hear it is ticked pretty hard and you should get to the side of the battery easily, not like this. <laughs> Try the second side. Of course avoiding not to get the screwdriver inside too much. Very short. So now we'll try with this tool. And then I will go over the sticker inside here. Gently using this tool. Open them and now we'll continue easily and gently. Okay, now when it is opened, a little bit. So we can continue. Gently trying to avoid it to be closed. Okay, it is a little tricky. One screwdriver here to 
catch this sound. Clip is a good thing, except that something has opened. The idea is try not to break it. Okay, so what do we see here? We see here a flashing LED, which is the button is working. We see here one screwdriver out of two that I expected. Ah, here are the two, they are inside. Of course, this can be shot inside, so. What I'm going to do is to attach them back easily and gently. I will use a scissor. Okay, remember this inside the battery, which is not connected. Okay, which is not screwed, is not a good thing. You see. But nothing is broken, nothing is broken inside except this. So I'm putting this and this back. Now I will use a wider screwdriver to close it. Mm -hmm. Something like this to make sure it is connected with enough force. And now it is. We screw the other screws as well because they are also a little disconnected. And now, what I'm going to do to avoid this happen, if you have a Loctite, it is a good thing. Um, okay, so I'm putting a silicone. I think this will be the best thing to do now. 